Good afternoon, I'm Jeff Kruger here with Fogmaker, here to show you how our system functions with the use of this display panel. The system's made up of three main elements. The way we detect the fire, the way we suppress the fire, and how we monitor the system. So first, how we detect the fire. We take a loss of pressure detection tube that we route through the area that we're covering, whether it be the engine compartment, battery box, etc. This detection tube is 100% mechanical. It requires zero electrical input. What happens is when there is a thermal event, the tube melts, and as soon as that melt occurs, it releases the pressure that's in the tube, which then ties to the second part of our system, the suppression. The suppression starts right here with our heart and soul, our piston accumulator. The piston accumulator has nitrogen that's compressed, so as soon as that valve body is opened after a thermal event, the nitrogen pushes the piston head forward, pushes all the fluid out, goes down a hydraulic line into the engine compartment battery box through stainless steel and then out the nozzles. Each of these nozzles takes the individual droplets of water and atomizes it such that we get an extremely heavy concentration of atomized droplets so we can kick it over to steam very quick. That's how we detect, how we suppress, and how we monitor is the third part. We monitor by continually reading the pressures in both the bottles the monitor, the alarm system is typically up in the operator's compartment. It'll show you when system's active and okay. It'll show you should you lose pressure and have a fault. I'll simulate that here by releasing that. It'll give you a fault condition. And lastly, if there is an actual thermal event, we lose pressure in both the small bottle and the piston accumulator. It'll kick it over, tell you that there is a thermal event happening and give you a countdown where we can tie into the bus or other vehicle elements and shut the engine down and hydraulics and so forth. So again, those are the three main pieces that comprise the system. When it comes to the benefits of this compared to any other system out in the market, as I mentioned, the detection is 100% mechanical, no electrical whatsoever. So two main points there is we do not, we do not have false activations due to electrical issues. Secondly, we're continuing to monitor all the time. We don't require any battery backup at all, so the vehicle is protected 24-7 and it's fail-safe by design. When we talk about the suppression, as I mentioned, it's a water-based system, a water mist. The benefit of this is that we attack every leg on that fire triangle. When the, when the mist comes out, hits that fire, it kicks over st uh, steam, that depletes the oxygen immediately. We continue to cool, so we drop it way beneath any reflash, so if you have a hydraulic leak or some other leak, you're not gonna have a reflash condition. And third, we contain a 3% AFFF. With that 3% AFFF, it actually blankets the surface and blocks the fuel source out. So those are the primary differences that really separates this system from any other, makes it a very unique uh, and incredible system in any application. We've got about 150,000 out in use today and have been very successful with it. Thank you for your time.